So we're talking about ball position first, as you can see on the left-hand one here now. Yeah. Get the right out. It's certainly back of centre there, OK? Yeah. And that's going to encourage you to want to be more on this side to try and get the golf club back to the golf ball. Yeah. So by getting it what feels to you way forward, OK? It it's not as far forward as you think. I said, because you're dominant right eye, yeah. you're looking at this side, you're looking from an angle now yeah. down there. So it seems like it's way forward, but in actual fact, it's not. So the mirror is going to be a good help to sort of just check that each time and get yourself used to what you're looking at. In some ways, look at the mirror. How does that look? Check it in the that's mirror. And what, what am I, where's my right hand in relation yeah, to my right knee on my left? Exactly, yeah. And he said, in terms of the backswing, that was blending that backswing, so the hinge of the wrist is the cause of the club to get to the top, not your arm bending. Okay, so we go to your top of your backswing here, you can see your left arm now is pretty much almost at a 90 degree angle there. Yeah, now yeah. if we compare it to here, we said about hinging your wrist earlier, so at halfway back, we get this sort of hinge in the club. We compare it to where you were here, left arm still in a position. The club's not nearly as hinged up as much. So no. Because you haven't hinged the wrist on the left side, yeah. that club is out there. Yeah. The bend now comes in the arm. There's got to be a hinge somewhere, the elbow or the, the yeah. wrist. And if you don't do the wrist deliberately, the arm will bend. Okay, so at the top of the back, that for me would be perfect. Okay, if truth be told, we go a little bit more. But if we compare those two spots yeah. from there to there, top of the back, so if we look at that there and that there, there's certainly a straighter left arm. It's not yeah. nearly as hinged as much. Yeah. The hands are a lot higher you above your head there. Yeah. You're creating more power naturally. So if you come back to the golf ball now, it's that shift as we can see now onto that left side. So at point of contact, that foot is a little bit less active. It gets a bit dandy to the right foot there. That's sort of almost, toe almost before yeah. impact there. A bit too much for me. Yeah. But at least now for me, you're over the ball a lot more. So when you finish this swing, we actually know more on your left side. Yeah. Okay, you're not falling back quite as much. So, a couple of things, as we said, ball position, just left of centre. Yeah. It seems a long way forward. In reality, it's not. It isn't. Yeah. Okay, and then from there, now focus on hinging this. What you're trying to create is like an L-shaped position with your left arm and your club at about this point. As you can see, your club now is hinged up, your left arm and the club creating that L. Yeah. So, you create some power there in the backswing. Now, we can unwind the body. And because the ball being a little bit further forward, or what seems further forward as well, you're going to want to now move to that left side as you start coming down, yeah? Yeah. That makes sense, yeah? Yeah, definitely. So, ball position, hinge the wrist, release it. And just watch your alignment. On occasion, you get a little bit too far right with your alignment, which obviously sends the ball yeah. further right or flicky hooky to the left. A lot of times when I hit a ball way right, I get annoyed, put my club down on my feet. And you can see it, exactly. Kind of it's a, you've got a straight shot on you, really? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Okay, mate? Straight right. Good stuff. Right, have a couple more then.